Rising sea levels threaten parts of the UK, including iconic areas like Liverpool. But there's a game-changing plan in motion, the world's biggest tidal power project. Imagine a massive barrier across the River Mersey, not only stopping floods, but also generating clean energy from tides. It's a two-for-one solution. Coastal spots might struggle, but inland places like Wirral and Warrington could thrive. The project's urgent due to real climate risks. However, the big question is money. Can local leaders gather funds, or will the government help? The fate of these places hangs in the balance. The Tidal Power Project isn't just a fix, but a symbol of human determination against climate change. It's truly heart-wrenching to envision the fate that could befall many charming towns and villages in Merseyside by the year 2050. The findings from meticulous research and studies paint a grim picture. Places like Sefton, Wirral, and Warrington may actually vanish beneath the waves. Even more astonishing, beloved landmarks such as Liverpool's historic Docklands, iconic golf courses, and even the planned football stadiums might succumb to the relentless forces of extreme tidal flooding. So, why is this looming catastrophe even a possibility? Well, the culprit is none other than the intriguing tide patterns of this region. Imagine tides that can surge as high as a staggering 10 meters, and not just once, but four times a day. Even a slight increase in sea levels in the Irish Sea could trigger sudden and devastating flooding, affecting low-lying areas in Merseyside and reaching far inland along the course of the River Mersey. But in the face of this impending disaster, a beacon of hope shines. The authorities in Liverpool have dusted off a century-old plan for a mega-project that could change the game entirely. Initially conceived as a method to control those unruly high tides, this project has transformed into something much grander, a way to harness green energy to power up to a million homes. And that's not all. Enter 2022 and a groundbreaking partnership between Liverpool City Region and South Korea's state water company, K Water, has sent ripples of excitement. Their collective vision involves the creation of the world's largest tidal power project right on the River Mersey. K Water, already the proud operator of the world's largest seawall lake tidal range power scheme, brings their expertise to the table. Now, imagine the impact of a colossal barrage spanning the River Mersey, standing as a symbol of resilience and innovation. A 1.2 gigawatt tidal power project, fueled by the ceaseless ebb and flow of tides, could become a reality within a mere six months of securing the necessary funds. A remarkable feat indeed. Various ingenious minds from organizations and educational institutions have put forth designs, carried out surveys, and conducted assessments for this monumental endeavor. Both barrages and lagoon-based tidal power plants have been explored, with multiple potential sites identified. But here's the kicker. Despite all this groundwork, the project remains confined to paper for now. The final design will only emerge once those crucial funds, totaling a substantial three billion pounds, are safely secured. The tide of change is upon us, not just in terms of the rising waters, but also in our pursuit of sustainable energy solutions. As we stand at the precipice of what could be a monumental shift in power generation, the fate of Merseyside hangs in the balance. Will this grand plan to harness the tides come to fruition? Or will it remain an unrealized dream? Only time and perhaps the swell of public support will reveal the answer. Let's dive into the captivating world of tidal power. Have you ever wondered what it is, how it operates, and whether it could outshine the likes of wind and solar power? Believe it or not, tidal energy has been a part of human ingenuity for centuries. Picture this. A thousand years ago, Europeans ingeniously harnessed the power of tides to drive grain mills. The concept was surprisingly straightforward. They stored incoming tidal water and used the outgoing tide's force to turn water wheels, grinding grains to perfection. Fast forward to the 19th century, and a remarkable discovery was made. This process of capturing the energy from falling water and spinning turbines could be turned into electricity. Tidal energy, a marvelous form of power, emerges from the rhythmic dance of the tides, a natural spectacle orchestrated by the gravitational interaction between Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. And the best part? It's a clean, renewable source of energy, 100% green and boundless. 
But now let's focus on the stage for this energy drama, the River Mersey. This place is tailor-made for a tidal power barrage, and here's why. Its tidal range, the variance between high and low tides, can be an astonishing 10 meters or more during spring tides. And with the narrow channel at its entrance, fittingly named the Narrows, the construction of the barrage could be shorter and more cost-effective. Plus, its strategic proximity to a bustling urban hub with a hefty electricity demand makes it not just feasible, but potentially profitable, despite the foreseen construction costs. Hold on to your hats, because the experts are projecting that this facility could churn out a whopping 1.5 terawatt hours of electricity annually. Just to put that in perspective, it's enough to light up every nook and cranny of homes in the city of Liverpool and its surroundings. Now, the design that fits this location like a glove is none other than a tidal barrage. It's not only a beacon of clean energy, but also doubles as a safeguard during tidal floods and a countermeasure against the rising sea levels. So, what's the nitty-gritty behind this tidal barrage concept? Imagine a colossal dam-like structure spanning the River Mersey. Inside this innovative barricade, turbines are hard at work. They allow the basin to fill during high tides and release water during low tides, generating electricity in both directions. Think of it as a river dam, snatching up the power swirling in the waters around it. This technology is tried, tested, and continually evolving. Now let's consider an alternative plan, the tidal lagoon concept. Just like barrages, these lagoons encompass a large volume of incoming tidal water with embedded turbines to capture its energy. But here's the twist. The lagoon idea is still in its experimental phase, with only a few examples under development in far-off lands like China and North Korea. Despite the lure of eight proposed lagoon tidal power projects on the UK's western coast, concerns about environmental impact and costs remain as hurdles. The key players in this game, like private corporations, have hesitated to jump on the tidal power bandwagon, seeing less profit potential. Interestingly, while these projects indeed protect against flooding and potential catastrophes, the financial burden typically rests on the government's shoulders. But mark my words, as ocean industries such as aquaculture, mineral mining, and oceanographic research continue to flourish, the tides of interest and investment in this field will surge. So why is tidal power such a tempting prospect? Unlike wind or solar energy, it's remarkably consistent and predictable. The West UK coast enjoys four tides a day, like clockwork, spread over 24 hours and 50 minutes, as reliable as the force of gravity itself. Tidal barrages and lagoons would churn out electricity around the clock, capturing the rhythmic flow in both directions, earning them the title of tidal power two-way generation. In this innovative dance with nature, the turbines are the stars, generating power during both flood and ebb tides. They don't hold back the water. It flows freely, a constant source of energy. A tidal energy generator housed within a tidal lagoon would also perform as a barrage. And here's a mind-blowing fact. This technology is capable of providing uninterrupted power. It's a consistent force, giving it an edge over intermittent sources like wind and solar power. But like any star in the making, tidal power faces its challenges, including costs and technical intricacies. Now let's turn our gaze toward Liverpool's grand ambition, the River Mersey Tidal Power Barrage. Can they rally the funds? Can they conquer the technical puzzles? Can they transform this visionary project into reality? The question echoes, but history has shown that human determination, backed by innovation, can move mountains, or in this case, tides. As the tide of progress surges, only time will tell if Liverpool's tidal dreams will wash ashore as a new beacon of green energy. Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this exploration of tidal power fascinating, don't forget to show your appreciation by giving us a thumbs up, sharing this content with others who might be intrigued, and subscribing to stay tuned for more enlightening discussions.